The Zero Abuse Project is a nonprofit based in the United States, and we are building an AI tool called ZeroAbuse.ai, and we use publicly available data to help institutions investigate child sexual abuse and detect patterns that could indicate attempts to cover that abuse up. And what we're working on right now is 60 years of institutional data related to the Catholic Church. So we will be able to detect patterns within the U.S. Catholic Church that they have shown um, a distinct cover-up of child sexual abuse. So what we've done is the church is very meticulous about the data it collects. It, know, it tells us where every priest is located, what parish they're at, where they've been moved, how far away and how often they're relocated, if they've been sent to a center for um, sexually abusive clerics, if they've been sent to a jurisdiction with predator-friendly laws. And we're able to put all of this into an AI system. Plus, since we know who 2,600 of the predator priests are, we can put this into an AI system. And so what happens is the AI uses mach uh, machine learning and pattern recognition to then tell us what patterns, the or they, what patterns of behavior the institution uses to cover up child sex abuse. And we're then able to take those patterns and use that for the entire data set. It's a huge breakthrough in the fight against child sexual abuse. Did you already uh, use that in, in legal proceedings, for example? No, we um, are in our beginning phases and we expect to hit minimum viable product by the end of this year. Well, the AI works because it can detect patterns that no human ever could. And of course there are issues of privacy because this is not a Big Brother campaign, we're not spying on anyone. This is an investigative tool and all it does is indicate patterns of behavior within institutions that could indicate a cover-up of child sexual abuse. And we're using publicly available data. So we're not invading anyone's privacy and we're not using any data that is not publicly available. There's no greater good than protecting kids. And when you're able to take data that's publicly available and help and partner with institutions to make the world a safer place, people are pretty positive about it. So we're very excited.